What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. The day has finally arrived that I have been waiting for. A lot of you guys have been waiting for. It's finally time to reveal my whole boot collection. So I filmed this whole video the other day and it was coming out to like 40 minutes and I felt like that was too long of a video to be honest. I figured I'm gonna do this boot tour collection in two parts. The first part being this, which is gonna be all of my boots that are in black either black suede or black leather, black in color to sum it up. And the second part to this video will be all of my brown boots. So any brown suede, brown leather. So today I'm just gonna basically give you the full rundown on all of my black boots. I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I have them in my collection, maybe a little bit of their backstory, what brand they're from. Not really price point because a lot of these, I don't really remember the exact pricing on each specific boot, but I will definitely tell you why I have them in my rotation and why and how they suit my needs um, throughout the years. So we're gonna hop into it right now. So the first boot in this boot tour for black boots is going to be one of my favorites. I'm just gonna give you guys a heads up that all these boots are my favorite. This boot actually is a 1980s paratrooper military boot. And this is one of my favorites just because back then, the quality of leather boots was way different than what it is today. Leather quality, just overall craftsmanship of the boot um, was amazing. This boot, I believe when I found it, I bought this on eBay and this boot came a lot higher, but I had them custom like cropped from my, my personal shoe cobbler. So he cropped them over here, we re-stitched re it. So, before, since it was so high, it would cut my ankle, but now it hits kind of at the perfect, like, just the perfect height in my opinion, and it's comfortable for me to wear, but I just feel aesthetically it looks like most pleasing. So this is my paratrooper boot, vintage. I know they're from either the 70s or the 80s. Um, these did not come like this with this sick like, characteristics over time. I actually have done this to them. Um, just from normal wear and tear. These are usually my boots that I will go to if I need to go do something. If I'm just going for long walks, I don't know anybody that's just like, oh, let me grab my boots. But these are the boots that I walked through Paris with where me and Amber went last year. I love them personally just because for a military army boot, I feel like they're the most comfortable boot that I have in my whole collection. I can literally wear these all day and my feet won't hurt. And I just love the detailing that they've gotten and their patina over time. I love it. So these are my military boots. Like I said, if you guys hunt around, you can't find a decent uh, price pair. I don't know if you're gonna find the exact same pair. With, you know, Obviously this is done by me over time, just wearing them. But yeah, this would be first on my boot collection tour. My military boot, 1980s. The next boot on my black boot collection tour would be my Fry Logger boots. Now these I bought a couple years ago. These are like a mix between brown and black, like the actual leather, not just the wood sole. But these are amazing. I find myself wearing these a lot during the winter times when it's snowing a lot. Most of you guys have seen that I wear dressier boots, which I'm gonna get into later in this video, like the y, the SLP wire, so the Celine, uh, Chelsea boots, etc. But um, you can't really wear those in the snow. You can't go anywhere during winter time especially out here in new york like unless you're jumping straight into the car it's not practical so you need these military boots these logger boots to kind of keep you what's the word i'm looking for just to keep you suited and booted no pun intended during the winter weather so i find that these fry logger boots because of their like tractor Vibram sole since it has all these like gaps. It's really easy to just kind of walk around slippery weather and stuff I have busted my ass in a couple of my boots definitely the ones that are like soft-sided and smoothed Like out on the bottom So you definitely want to have something like this in the rotation if you are in like snowy weather if you're in rainy places blah 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 but, Um, Yeah, these fry logger boots. I love I love the color I haven't worn these that much. Like I said, I pretty much just wear these during the winter time, but I love them. They're comfortable as well, and definitely a safer boot for my collection. And I like that they have vibram soles. Cool little plus. 
The next boot, and I forgot to say, I'm gonna go through my military combat boots kind of first before I jump into the dressier boots in my collection. So these bad boys, if you guys follow me on Instagram, at ariel.rosado29 for anybody that hasn't already and needs to get to doing that right now. These are one of the prized boots in my collection. One of my favorite creative directors for Balmain, uh, Christophe de Carnin. Um, he did this boot as well as my brown suede ranger boot that I'll touch on in part two of this video. These boots were part of his earlier campaigns for Balmain. Um, and this actually happens to be a collaboration with Giuseppe Zanotti um, back in 2012 or 2011, don't quote me, but I'll put the correct date here for you guys as I always do. These are important to me because back then I couldn't hunt these boots down, I didn't have enough money to buy them, and I was able to source them recently and in pretty, pretty decent condition considering that they're almost a 10 year old boot. One of my favorite things about these boots is the fact that they have these double, try to do it, take the leasing system off. And I'm gonna do a uh, on foot video of all these boots so you guys can see them on foot because I know you guys like to see that and always ask for it. Uh, they feature these double zips up the sides which I have never seen on any other boot. If you guys have seen it on another boot, feel free to comment below and I'll definitely check them out. But to me, this is one of the coolest things about this boot just because you can wear it different ways. It offers comfort. So if you want to just have them zip down like this and just lace them up and kind of tie it around that, you get a little bit more room as you're walking. Um, I definitely do want to add, like I was saying, that I like with my fry boots, I want to add some kind of extra sole on this so I don't slip around because I had these on the other day when I was hopping into the Jeep and I almost killed myself. I almost slipped because these things are so rounded at the bottom and have literally no grip. But I love these boots. They're from an era of fashion that I keep close to my heart just because I feel like those were the golden years of Balmain and of certain brands that I really respect. So. Definitely one of my prized possessions. I know they're not for everybody. I know a lot of people um, that know about these boots tend to either gravitate towards these, the Rangers, which I'll talk about in part two, like I said, or Hedy or Eddie's Dior Navigate boot, which they're nice, but I feel like from that era, from like the 2000s to 2012 era of like iconic fashion brand boots, I feel like Balmain pretty much did it for me a little bit more than the Dior's, but that's just me. So these are my Balmain Giuseppe Zanotti military double zips. These bad boys I had a big old problem with when I first bought them because these actually run, in my opinion, they run pretty small. These are one of my favorites, obviously. So all my boots are my favorite. These are my Rick Owens low army boot. And you guys have seen these. I did a small unboxing when I first got these like a year ago or something like that. These are amazing boots. I wanted these for so long, but I felt like the retail price was like super high on them. They retailed for like 2000 or a little bit over 2000 And not that Rick isn't justified, but I just wasn't trying to pay $2,000 for some... Excuse me, I always broke my camera. I wasn't trying to pay $2,000 for some combat army boots. Um, when I was looking for these, but I definitely wanted these in my collection. Luckily, um, Sense had a sale, and I was able to get them for a pretty good amount. These I love just because of the lacing system. I find that having all the eyelets, it's like, it's still like a classic army boot, but it's, but this part kind of signifies that it is Rick Owens. The tongue kind of signifies that it's Rick Owens. Like you could tell that it's a Rick Owens boot, but it still has those minimalism characteristics to kind of keep it a classic style combat boot, which I really love. The other thing that I really love about these is that it has good year rubber on the sole and it's very thick. So the boot is going to last extremely long. And with the way that I walk, I don't drag my feet. These boots will probably last me a lifetime and a half. They also have a zip feature on the side, so it's easier to get on and off. Definitely wear these a lot during winter time. Um, again, has the tractor-ish sole. So 
not really going to be slipping and sliding all over and the snow in these and these are heavy i'm not going to lie about that but they're very comfortable to wear the break-in period does take a little bit of time because when i first started wearing them my ankle was getting cut up from like the zipper but after you break it in i'd say like a good four or five wears then they're comfortable and they don't start to cut your ankle anymore but definitely just wear high socks if you guys want to get these or pretty much any military boot with the tie top now we're going to hop into my dress boots. We're gonna start off with the classic. Everybody knows what this boot is. Pretty much every, I'm not gonna say everybody has this boot, but these are the classic Saint Laurent Wyatt boot. Now I used to have the fall winter 13 pair, but the problem with that boot is that they do run really, really small. Unlike the following season where there was a little bit more, it was a little bit wider, slightly, not, not by much, but this was the closest rendition to Fall Winter 13 that you can get. This is the Fall Winter 16 when Eddie was finally leaving out of Saint Laurent, but he brought back in the tapered shaft. Kept the same shape as the 13, but it was a little, slightly more comfy. This is a classic boot. If you guys don't have one of these, you should definitely pick a Wyatt boot up. You could wear this with everything. Suiting, I've done it with suits, I've done it with jeans, leather pants. You name it, you could do it with this boot. This is literally the most versatile boot in a collection. I feel like you need to have a wire boot, a dress boot, but definitely pick up a Saint Laurent wire boot as it's, you can't go wrong with this boot. If you guys watched my Celine haul, you guys know that I picked these Berlin boots up from Eddie's first season at Celine. These have the exposed zip, as you can see. That was like a small nod to his Fall Winter 13 uh, starting collection with Saint Laurent Paris. I still don't really know how I feel about these boots. Like, I love the leather, leather quality is amazing. And as you can see, I, ha I still haven't worn them. I love that it has the exposed zip. It's not as thick as the Fall Winter 13 boots. The zipper was a lot fatter, as well as the zipper head, it's chunkier. The only possible way I could see myself wearing these is most likely with a suit. I just feel like that would probably be the best way that I would wear them. I, you could also wear them with jeans, obviously. It's not something that you can't wear. Um, I just don't feel like it's as versatile as a Chelsea boot or as the Wyatt boot or a Jodhpur. It's definitely a different boot. You don't see them a lot, I will say that. But yeah, I still don't really know how I feel about this boot. Definitely, I have tried them on with a suit, like I said. I think that they look best because they have so much going on to them already. And with a suit, I think that it pops the rest of the outfit out. Yeah, still trying to figure this one out, guys. I don't, I don't really know where this guy sits in my collection, but I do have it. I feel like it was something good to pick up just because it was, I got it for under retail, but I also want to say that I feel like down the road this will be a collector's item. If you don't know, Celine doesn't do production as big as Saint Laurent or as big as Heddy as Eddie did while he was at Saint Laurent. Production is a lot smaller. Quantities are not as high. So I'm saying if there is a boot from Celine that you do want, I would say definitely try to hop on it sooner than later because the production is not as mass. So keep that in mind. Just giving you guys a tip from what I know. Now I have this in both the tan and black suede colorway as you can see here. And I just feel like when the images first hit the net, I don't know if it's picking up on camera good. Yeah, it's kind of blending in with my black t-shirt. But anyways, images first came out of these and these were on the runway. I don't feel like anybody really reacted to them the way that you react to them in person. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I was one of those people. I saw this and I was just like, that's it, a Chelsea Wyatt. But then as I saw them in person, as I tried them on, I understood it more. With the Wyatt boot that he did for Saint Laurent, Eddie, I guess noticed that, and this is just from my personal opinion, this is all personal opinion. It's easier to just slide this on and when the jean is tapered, you don't see the Chelsea part anymore. So then you just have this like super comfortable wire boot that can, you know, you could take on and off. I feel like the shape of this is really nice when you have it on. Like definitely the images online didn't do it justice. And I, I know a lot of people, a lot of boot Instagram accounts were 
you know, kind of on the fence about it. I was on the fence about it. But having them in person and owning them and wearing them, one, they're super comfortable. I don't know if it's the shape and how your foot kind of sits on this chunky arch, but they're very, very comfortable. They look great with denim, great with skinny jeans. And yeah, I love them. Definitely love this pair. Definitely love the tan pair. I think I've worn the tan pair a little bit more than these that you guys will see in part two of this video. But these look amazing with skinny jeans. Done them with wax denim. Looks awesome. So yeah, definitely the Celine. Oh, I forgot to say the name the whole time. These are the Celine Berlin harness boots in black suede. So definitely one of my favorite boots in my collection. I feel like this is such a versatile boot just because off the top, it's black, it's black suede, it's classy, it's dressy. You can wear this with a suit, you can wear this with jeans, you can do no wrong with this boot. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have to give a shout out to my girl because when I went into, I picked these up at Bergdorf, I was gonna leave these. I was like, I don't know about those, I don't know how I feel about them. She was like, try them on, you need to get those, buy them and let's go. And this is probably one of my favorites now and it's like one of the most sought after out of the Celine boots. These are the Celine harness Chelsea boots, the biker harness. You could move this chain to the front, you can leave it on the bottom and you could remove, you can move it off and you could just have this as a Chelsea. If you guys watched my birthday vlog from last year, you would know that I wore them like this with my Saint Laurent suit for my birthday dinner. But yeah, this is just definitely one of the coolest and most sought after Celine boots right now. Um, and I, yeah, I wasn't gonna buy them at first, but she she was like, don't be a fool because you know you're gonna not buy them, they're gonna sell out and you're gonna regret it. And she was right. And I'm happy to have this boot in my collection. Obviously, I'm gonna just state again, very versatile boot. You can, you can literally wear this three different ways. Very versatile, wear it dressy, wear it casually with denim. And yeah, it's just, this is like the super, this is probably the most rock star boot I have in my whole collection. I'm trying to think of my, in my brown boot collection, but I think, yeah, this with the chain is the most, the most rock star boot I have, I believe. Super sought after. You, you could probably find pairs on Grilled now. I don't know if there's a lot of sizing. Like I said, with the other Celine boots, if you want a Celine boot, it's not like Saint Laurent. They are not going to re-release. I've talked to enough people. The production quantity is very low. Food for thought, if you guys are hunting for a Celine boot, hop on it. Do not wait, do not sleep because like these, they're going to sell out and then you're going to be left hunting for them. So thank you, Amber, for making me buy these. All right, guys. So that pretty much wraps up part one of this boot tour. Those are all my black boots right now that are in my current rotation. I hope you guys like them. Drop me some comments below if you guys share any of the same boots in your collection or what boots you have in yours. These are all based off of what I do on a daily, my style. So don't feel like you have to go buy these, but these just fit my personal style the most. Part two of this video will be dropping shortly after this one. I hope you guys liked it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Ariel, if I didn't already state that in the beginning of this video. And remember to follow me on Instagram for daily fit pics. I've been trying to be consistent with all the new fit posts that I do. So you'll definitely see new outfit pictures with all of these boots and with the tan brown boots that we show in part two of this video. So. Instagram is at ariel.rosado29, and I will see you guys in part two of this video. See you soon.